Ah. So today we are going to look at the sunset and think about something that we really really want. And then we are going to make a wish in the wishing well guys. So let's try it. So look at my inventory and we got a star. Let's try it again. And there we go, another star. So that's it guys, today we, uh, I am going to show you uh, my wishing well, which, uh, which is a really simple idea. Uh, so every item that you throw inside are going to be stored here. And if you throw uh, in something that's not uh, of interest, it goes to an automatic disposal system that will throw the items inside lava, so people cannot clog your machine. Let's try it with some gravel. So as long as the disposal system is filled, it will throw items in lava and it works uh, in parallel with the, the filter system. So if you, uh, whatever you want to give back to the person up there, you put inside this uh, dropper and it will dispense it up using an item elevator. Very simple, huh? So let's go and build that. All right, so here I have all the materials that we are going to need to build this. So let's start by placing a reference here so we can place hoppers that are not facing each other downwards. All right, so for a better reference, this is where our chest is going to be. And let's start by building a filter for uh, these hoppers. So comparator here, it's a very classic filter, all right? No fancy stuff here. And it's done, we will fill this up later. And now we need a disposal system. So place a dropper facing down like that. And two hoppers like this, both facing down. The, the hopper placement is very important for this machine. So this one like this other two from uh, main, the main line and the other two facing that. So the bottom of your well will be right here. Whoa. All right. So items get inside this and they flow into the filter. If they are not um, filtered to go inside the chest, they go to the disposal system. So let's automate the disposal system. And let's just block this place. So comparator here and make a small platform here. Place repeater out here and in here and everything else you use this uh, redstone. So if you want now place any items here, it will dispose and it will not stop until the dispenser is the dropper <laughs> is empty guys so all right we have already a filter system and a disposal system so let's go to the item elevator so place it like that and start placing hoppers facing up like this and in the end you can even block it with uh, blocks for disguise or, or place a chest here so I don't know if this is going to be 100% right, I think so. And start building a simple item elevator like this, if you're better uh, at placing blocks than I am. All right. And we, uh, I think we are ready to try it. Just should choose some item and make a filter for that. For example, I'm going to use emeralds here. So place two here. And now uh, we place 18 emeralds here so one two three this one will fall so now we have to choose which item we want to dispense whenever someone gives us uh, the emeralds so if you place uh, your items like that the dropper will dispense uh, a random item so it's more interesting I believe so uh, because you, d you don't know what you get uh, when you throw your our emeralds inside so let's run the first test here by throwing some emeralds so first time you use it uh, the elevator must be filled up for it to start working so the first time it comes uh, an item comes out 
uh, means that it's ready to go. So every time you throw the right item now, it will output a random stuff to your inventory. Alright, then let's check the disposal system. So it's working. Um, what else can I show you? Ah, another detail is that uh, it works well uh, if you throw single items, but if someone tries to throw a, a whole stack, the, the system may fail. So, what uh, a, a good fix for that is to start a clock whenever uh, any items are any stack of items are thrown. So, place a repeater here and uh, <laughs> a comparator here uh, in subtraction mode and another repeater on two ticks here. Alright, so now let's test it again. Yeah, and we can throw a whole stack now and it should work because this clock is going to be started. And yeah guys, now you can uh, build up your, your well to, an, to whatever height you want and fill it up with water. I like to use uh, glowstone here where those blocks are so you get some lighting effects down there and I believe that it's yeah it's all that I wanted to show you guys it's really simple just something to have fun to have around your base and I hope you enjoyed this little creation and don't stop making wishes guys don't stop bye bye